Hello everybody and welcome to Russian Fishing 4 and we're back at Norwegian Sea. I'm going to do one more here and then I promise I'm out of here to do some carp fishing with that new reel. But I opened the, what is it called? Let's take a look. The Marine Pasture Noster. And it fishes quite a bit different. So let's go out. We'll do an hour pass and I will just hammer on that rig and we'll see what happens. I don't think I need anything at all. Yeah, boy, get on it. And we're just going to hit the 34 here today. It'll be, it's a nice depth. It was fishing good last night, and it's a good depth to get down quick and show really show you this rig. I have hit the lighthouse a few times doing this, so let's be hasty. All right, I'm running. That's got to be on your boat rod. I had as the marine pasture noster rig, and as you see, you need a big old bean sinker, shock leader, and then you run little droppers off of that. There's a top, a middle, and a bottom. I do got a bottom. I'm gonna change that over to safe chunks. And there's three of them. You gotta have over a 50 centimeter leader, I think, or something like that. And then I got strips on the bottom chunks in the middle and this red yellow black striped octopus 18 gram in the on the top for an track and I it was pretty cool when I hit the lighthouse and rolled the boat it spawned me back in town so it was pretty serious All right, like I said, it's pretty standard. You got your big sinker, a shock leader, and then you got three dropper lines off of it. I got strips, safe, and that octopus. No clip. You, I want it to sink the way I'm retrieving it, so no clip on this. Look at that tangled fucking mess. That thing would be such a freaking insane... Oh, my God. But, thank God it's a video game. I'm going to cast out. I actually seem to like casting it out a little more. Then dropping it down like I do my pilker. Alright, we hit bottom. Reel it up just to get some tension. Then do short little pops. And I'm only at retrieval speed 10. Now I'm pretty much straight down and it's hanging. I'm just going to give it some pops. Players out here. There's fish. And that actually took a long time to get that fish. They come. You just gotta you gotta keep that there's a nice not a nice place, but alright. I'm gonna go out further this time. And you just, to me, I just want to keep that movement in the bottom layer. And that's my strike indicator. If you keep that moving by keeping your line moving and jigging, as soon as a fish hit, that goes off. And that signals I got a bait. Bite. I was getting about 30 fish an hour yesterday doing it. It was pretty fast. No, I was getting a lot of sculpins and stuff.
fish. I mean, it will heat up pretty good. Sculpey. And the nice thing about this rig is it seems like I can cover more water because, you know, you can cast out all directions. Oop, fish. There we go. That's the speed fishing. Tiny fish, though. All right, let's try a little bit of... Current got funky there. Let's go stand on the front. There we go. There's a better fish. So slow drag in. Little pops. Patience. But when it heats up, man, you usually start popping as soon as you hit bottom. After this one, I'll start cutting so you guys don't have to do anything. If you have any questions, please uh, ask in the comments. And please comment anyways. Give me some spots or something. Just say, hey, help a brother out, you know what I mean? This one's got a little pull on it. I don't know what it is. Turbot, small one, got a little little skill. I do have some more stuff. I am going to start a Warhammer 3 campaign for the channel, but I want to up my fishing. It's just been super hot here, and i got to get my garden in and all that. Fish. Talking too much, Bav. Missing fish. little mackerel, a little more skill though. Not bad, because it's not even happy. Sculpin. Flag at least. And my first few hours doing it, I was only casting about 30 meters. But this seems to let me keep in contact with my bait a lot easier, and my bite rate doesn't seem to go down, really. There's fish. Better sculpin.
don't really want to catch them but today is just about showing you the rig in general I seem to catch smaller fish with this so not quite as much money but you never know with contracts and you still can get some nice fish it just you don't seem to get as many big fish There's fish. There's a nice one though. Fish. All right, we're over 10 fish. Not a great flag. That's all right, though. Sorry's all right. Catching flatfish, so maybe we'll get something good tonight. Let's see about changing up this. Let's go top one. Top one, let's put in strips. Middle, let's go with the 14 gram glow in the dark, and on the bottom, let's go with the large macro fillet for the night. See what happens. Look at this mess. some deeper water. We'll try it anyways. Should be good. This should be a good rig to drag up the drop-offs and stuff. Didn't want to catch anything, but being on the edge made me think halibut, and there was a frickin' 3,700 silver contract, and it only had to be 30 kgs. Don't think this will be it, but that's a better fish. Pretty sure this isn't a sculpin, so I'm happy. Ah, it fell off. All right, I'm back to the bottom. That sucked. Usually what I have been doing though is I do this from about 5 a.m. till about 18, 20 hundred. And then I go pilk for the night but I just wanted to focus on showcase this new rig today.
Ooh, there's a nice fish. All right, Bav, you can get your redemption chance. Let's do this. Just keep bringing it in. Ooh, looks like a nice turbot. Nice. Fish. There we go. Hmm, tiny place. And the swells are kicking up. Lost a fish there. Let's change this out. Let's go with let's go with the hot pink. And you know what? Let's go with the blue one. That seems different. There's a fish. Buddy Ray's on. He's in Australia, so it's pretty late for him, I think. Fish. Here we go. Want me to catch a big fish? It's just not catching it, Bab. Cause you're not good. Come on. So the bite size definitely went up with the large fillets. You know that's not definitely the reason why, but. Ooh, another turbot. Nice. There has been some good ones caught. Ray caught a trophy last night. Let's see what he's doing. Oh no, you want to keep going now. Oh. Got a fish on there. That'll be interesting to see what this is. And like I said, I'm going to head out of here. I want to do some carp fishing with this new reel. So next one will be of that. I am dying to try it with 1,200 meters of line on this bad boy. But you don't know if it works until you try it. It is a video game, so we will see. Oh, nice. Pollock. Come on, this is going to be close. 20 minutes, we should have it. We should have it. One more fish. It'll be 22. I lost three. Made one bait. So, 26 fish. That'll be a little less than an hour because our drive out here.
Ooh, nice. Way to finish it. That'll be a good paying fish. Six minutes. I better hurry back. Let's see what we got. I hope that answers any questions, at least gets you started with the rig. I'm by my by no means an expert, but I was starting to catch fish regular. So I thought I'd share. That's the contract I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. One fish, 28 kgs, 3,400 XP. Didn't get you. Six of them, no. No. Nothing there. So straight fish. This is more of an educational. Let's go by price. And roll it, Bav. 6.5. 1.4 turbo 5603 4.339 3.3 pollock 27 2.419 2.1 sculpin 17 that 2 239 gram sorry 1676 900 place 1.3 sculpin 11 8 so not super great at all, but I mean, that was for one hour, so $100, some bait. Bang, done. Plus, going up, up, up. But, let me know. Please leave a comment. Tell me how you're doing, especially the old timers that have been subs for a long time. And it helps the channel. I like to keep in touch. Have a good one, and if you see me out there fishing, Bavarian bit, say hi. Give me any tips. I need all the help I can get, as you can see. Have a good one. You catch. Fat Seal. Nice name. 212. Greenland Shark. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, everybody. Have a good one. And I'll see you next time in the Russian Fishing Forward. Norway version. See ya.